Hey guys, wanna make a quick video update on my BCS 770 tractor. Uh, has machine for about six months, put 39 hours on it already. And I do have to say, I love it. I'm a big BCS guy. I've had both BCS and Guillo uh, tractors in, in, in the past. Um, a, a couple a couple quick items after having it for, some, for a little bit of a while. Uh, one thing I like to do every time I start it up is I do let the hydrostat warm up. So I, I keep a, a Velcro strap uh, on the unit and of course, I engage my I engage my dead mag properly, and I normally hold it, hold the tie right there for a couple seconds, and and I, I let the hydrostat warm up. Uh, after 15 seconds, uh, the hydrostat definitely quiets down, and then I definitely put it to work. Uh, a couple of changes that I've made to this machine is I had the stock bumper. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of it, and the reason why I feel like is it it did catch a lot of debris, uh, and it was hard to wipe off as I was going along. I use this tractor almost exclusively in front PTO mode. So from Earth Tools, I bought a engine guard for a 660, a BCS 660. I do have to say it was a it was a pretty good fit. Um, it protects, it provides all the protection I really need just to protect the engine right here. Um, but it does not go all the way around. This is actually the hole for the Vanguard, which is the stock engine for the 660. Uh, I like having this here. I do sometimes use it as as a tie down point. I had to drill new holes to fit the uh, the Honda GX engine. Uh, another item I did is, if you follow the Earth Tools website about changing engine oil, you know, Joel talks about, you know, 40, 50 hours, which is about a little less than half what Honda recommends. You know, I don't use this thing a lot. It doesn't use a lot of oil. Uh, so I ended up putting this, this, this quick change valve on it. Um, I was a little worried about driving through the woods and knocking it around, uh, but so far, so good. Uh, I will attach a link to this uh, in the description below. If you saw my previous video, I installed this gold plug, which is a uh, magnetic uh, oil cap. And I do have to say, I, I check it every five hours or so, um, it, my oil religiously. And so far, so good. I like it a lot. I, I did make my first oil change to my to my BCS, the transmission oil change. Uh, the, the oil, there was an updated bulletin about the proper oil to use for the hydrostatics. And I filled it up exactly uh, to what it said. However, I was pretty disappointed that it overflowed by a lot. So I had to drain out a decent amount of oil. Uh, the BCS bulletin also doesn't specify a particular oil for these. So I ended up using AMS oil and I will, it's a diesel engine oil, which is the right viscosity and meets the best specs I could. Uh, I will also attach the link to that in the description below. Other than that, I, I think that's I think that's about it, guys. So it's, it's a good unit, good 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 forty hours of use. I have to say, after running the hydrostat, I, I will never ever ever again uh, run a uh, a non hydrostat BCS tractor. Uh, one thing it means in my last video is I did get these extensions from Earth Tools, and I actually I cut them off with, with a bandsaw, and and they cut off. You can see really really nicely. This, I mean, there's a little reflection here from the stone, but. Um, you know, no rust, no nothing on these. And I cut them down because they were really long. Uh, I exclusively use these to quick disconnect my tires. So I go back and forth between the, the eggs and the earth and the uh, and the turf tires pretty often. So I feel like this is a pretty quick and easy way to do it. Um, I was thinking about duels. That's why I only cut it here. Uh, but after running this tractor really in some pretty substantial mud, with these agricultural tires, there's no need for duels for my application. So uh, I'm gonna live with this for maybe another six months and I'll probably make it a, another cut over here. Because uh, one thing about this is I do use the snow blower for it and it, it does kind of interfere with the snow blowing. It, it doesn't stop the tractor or turn the tractor, uh, but it does kind of just kind of ruin that edge of the, of, of the snow blown area. So that's all I have to say and uh, best of luck to everybody.